Oh my gosh, you guys help. Help. So, uh, Word. We upgraded to Word 365, 2016 edition, whatever. And it's, uh, it's awful. Oh god. Look at these comments. You can't read shit on here. What is this? What? Look at all the wasted space. Some of these don't even have... What? And I have to click to... And then I have to scroll? What the hell is going on here? Why would you make your comp- Why would you destroy the comp- What? Ah. So, if we go to Old Word, Word 2007, we see that this is what it looks like, and it's so much better. And yeah, you still can't see the entire comment, but watch this. Watch this. View. Review, actually. Uh... Track changes, options, you can increase this right here, ta-da, and you still won't get them all, so what I'll do is I'll just add some spaces every now and then. This one is unusually heavy on the comments, but generally speaking, you can pretty much just do it this way, put that to a new page, and every single comment is totally visible. Look at that. Beautiful. Brilliant. That's exactly what I need. And now I can just click on these... Uh, these links and so on, that, uh, well, they should have been made into links. And uh, everything is great. But uh, not in the new word. Not in the new word. Oh, God. Ah, uh, why? Okay, so let me let me do the same thing here. First, I have to enable editing. Uh, save as, kill me. Uh, what? Yes, okay. Um, Okay, so Jake Tivy is taking up all this room. Oh, God. Oh, it's horrible. Let's do the same thing. Oh, they made the comments so much worse. I need your help. I, I, I've Googled all over the place. I can't find an answer. So instead of simple markup, you want to go to all markup until you get the little, the little uh, paths thingies back. Oh, they're moving around. Uh, let's see here. Tracking, advanced options. You go here. You can expand that out. Let's give it a lot of room. And still, it's a shit show. Still, I have to click on a comment and, and like, what is with the reply resolve? Oh, it's horrible. Ah! Compare that again to this, where you can see everything straight away. And I like the bubbles that are around them. And these ones don't even have bubbles unless you click. Oh, it's just the worst. And uh, so I'll do my trick again. Watch this. Control Enter to go to a whole new page. What the hell is that? Look at how much space they take up. Jake Tivy needs his own line. It has to tell me this was done on Tuesday. I don't care. And then half the vertical space is taken up by reply resolve, even when they're not even there. What were they thinking? You guys, I'm so sick of, of uh, software peoples who don't understand usability. What is this? Okay, let's do the same thing here. I, I suspect, yeah, there's that. Let's try this one. Yeah, let's do, we, we only, if, if I try to do two paragraphs, well, it worked that time. Let's do another two paragraphs. This one won't work. Hmm, it did work. Let's try, if I do this, see? This is what I'm talking about. They don't even expand, even if there's room, unless all of them can expand. Wait, what? Seriously? This is what I'm talking about. What a nightmare. So I have to do it like this. I have to do it like this for every single one. Let's check this out. Nope, yeah, see? There's too many comments. They won't expand at all. What the hell were they thinking? Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, oops. Let's go here. Uh, you're seeing a fun little preview of a script, by the way, so lucky you. Uh, Jake Tivy, there's a, uh, there's a, I think I can get rid of the image of the guy. Basically, I, I need your help. I need to make these comments smaller. I need to get rid of reply resolve. I need to get rid of the line that is also dedicated to Jake Tivy Tuesday, or name and then day, at the top. I need them back to this. This is what I need. And in addition to that, I would like to be able to click in here and have the comment highlighted on this side rather than having to click on this side and having the comment highlighted over here. 
which is okay, but I have to go through the script da, 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 and then try to, uh, hang on, which one is it? Multi-display, there it is. See, I have to do it backwards rather than forwards, and that's really annoying. But this is so much worse. Oh my God, what were they thinking? Look, I can save a tiny amount of space. Ah, uh, I mean, just look at all that, just look at all the wasted space. See all that white space in there? And in here, what the hell? What were they thinking? Okay, uh, there's only, there's only like one thing I can do. Advanced options, measure in inches. I don't even remember how to get rid of the person's face anymore. The picture, there's not even a picture there. Color by author. There it is, pictures by comments. And I can't get rid of anything else. It's still horrible. So I've had to go through my script like this. Just one paragraph at a time on each page because I can't see the comments. And this is how we work. We need comments. This is basically what's on uh, what the host says. And this is basically what the is showing on the screen. This is the video. This is the audio, basically. And... Uh, Holy crap, I'm going to have to go back to 2007 if I can't find a solution for this because it is miserable. Miserable. Okay, so uh, there's one other thing. Somewhere in, I could go to design. Uh, no insert. Down here, and then you go to styles, and then you go to manage styles. And then you go to alphabetical and type in balloon text. There it is. This will change. Modify. I can increase the size. But this doesn't do anything for like changing how much space the rest of the comment takes up. These are all set to zero. You see in here? I'm going to say OK to all that and then the comments will get a little bit bigger. But that's not what I want at all. I need to get rid of all this crap. I don't care. There's no such thing as resolve. What? That's what it does? Oh, kill me. Kill me. Someone help. Someone 